kid from the Falcons, Lindstrom. Oh, Jeez. boy. Talk to me about it. Ah, I don't even know if I want to. <laughs> Just the biggest thing as a player, right, you always think of who's, whose opinion matters, and it's always the guys in your room first, or, right, your teammates, and then um, your peers across the league. This dude tore us up. <laughs> I remember going into that week, uh, Coach Casario, our D-line coach, he said, you watch tape on 63? I'm like, uh, I mean, I haven't, you know, I haven't really watched the whole line yet. He's like, you better buckle up. <laughs> and that's literally what that game was, is I remember one play, him and the tight end came and just cleaned me, just right to the ground. That's probably one of the best offensive linemen I've been against. Three, five, four, bum. The problem is, get the out of my way. Right side, touchdown Atlanta. Right guard, number 63 in black. That kid is shot out of a rocket. He's got great tracks and just super aggressive coming off the ball. You can just see how he plays. Just flashes on film. This is one of the better guards, by the way, in the league. Chris Lindstrom. <laughs> This is what the Falcons do, round and pound. Atlanta rewarded all that road grading with a contract extension and made the former first-round pick from Boston College the highest-paid guard in NFL history. Fellow players also took notice and voted Lindstrom to the countdown for the first time in his five-year career. Atlanta had a great run scheme. To run that system, you need a certain kind of offensive lineman, one who's tough and one, but also one who's quick and athletic. When you're quick, you know, with the zone game, it gets Stephen Lyman in a bad position. So yeah, he's he's definitely a great player, and in the past game too, you know, a guy that playing against him, I definitely had to, you know, come up with a game plan and you know put some thought into it. Lindstrom saved one of his best performances for Week 17 when he faced a future Hall of Famer. Good job, JJ. Well, I've shown a lot of bowl inside to Henny and I. JJ Watt lined up right across from the pro bowler. Chris Lindstrom's had quite the season this year. You might not work a lot of guys, not outworking me. Got him. <laughs>